Hi. It's me, Linny. I have not watched JoJo's Bizarre Adventure in a while. It's a really boring reason why I have to use somebody else's computer to record because mine is way too old and it crashes every time. And it has terrible audio and video as you've seen in the past episodes. So the person's laptop that I use, I can only really use one day a week now. So before I knew that, I kind of filmed episode 11 to 15 in one week. And then I went a few weeks completely free of JoJo. So I'm a little fuzzy on where we left off. I know we've met Caesar, that's his name, yeah, Baron's grandson, and Jojo's, like Jojo number one's grandson Joseph is going, and they're teaming up, and now they have like a shared ulterior motive to, I don't know, Some I remember somebody, someone dying near the end of the episode, I don't remember who it was, I think they were kind of an irrelevant character but because it was somebody's friend they suddenly liked each other and decided to team up for revenge. Speedwagon is surprisingly still alive and I'm okay with that. I wonder what's going to happen and I wonder if Dio is going to show up in this episode. Not that I care but you know. So I think that's what I remember might have been episode 14. I might just be fuzzing out episode 15 altogether. Either way, we're going to begin. <laughs> I'm the same way. Oh, I resonate too much with him. And he's pulling his hair too. I don't pull my hair often, but when I do, it's because I'm really, really upset. <laughs> oh. He's like Baron, but more strict. <laughs> Wait, okay. So... I see. I think I see what's gonna happen in this episode. Caesar is basically gonna be the Baron. And then, does that mean Caesar's gonna die next episode? No. I only liked one death, and that was Jojo number one. Why isn't he using wine? Why is he using water? Um, Caesar's gonna train. Joseph, and then Caesar's going to pass away. Like, you better not spill a drop of my wine, I swear to God. Now, Caesar, maybe it's because he's underage. I don't know how old he is, I don't remember. He's just like, don't spill any of my water, stay hydrated. His eyes are so green. Well, and his makeup is on point. His whole aesthetic is just so good. <laughs> I really hope he doesn't die. But if history repeats itself, he's going to. And that would be kind of crappy because that would be too predictable for my liking. And he'd have to die and I don't want him to die. But like, this is so different from how it went down the first time. Like, why didn't Baron... Just bring him to Italy like Caesar did with Joseph. Would have made a lot more sense and Baron might not have died. Like, I don't understand why they're repeating the same... I don't know. I just hope it's different and that it's not just going to be the same plot line but with different characters. That would be a bit of a waste of time. Oh no! I don't think that's a guy. The form looks quite feminine to me. What if it's the girl with the long red hair and then she takes her hat off and it's just like... Everywhere. Oh no! <laughs> that 
That is a female voice. I mean, I called that one. I'm proud of myself for calling that one. I'm proud of myself. Loving the mask aesthetic. Although I thought uh, she was an enemy at first because of the mask and how the masks are bad in this anime. But her mask looks more like a circus mask or a drama class mask. I don't know if it's a red-headed girl, but I can tell that it's not a dude. Anyways. <laughs> You're like a woman. We're so shocked. Look at these grown men or grown-ish men. Speedwagon's a grown man. <laughs> Look at these grown-ish men. It's not the red-headed girl, I don't think, unless her hair is just brown. <laughs> it's like the same... Her reaction face is just a mood, like... Won't hold back even if you're a girl. It's like, okay, because that totally matters. Okay. Like, hmm, do I have a red suit anywhere? Could I get a red suit somewhere? <laughs> I don't know much about her yet, but she's a possibility if I repair this wig. Anywho, on with the show. <laughs> she's pretty badass, I like her. No wait, wait no no no. In the ar in the first arc, the trainer died. I thought that Caesar was gonna be the main trainer, but turns out Joseph needs a bit more help than just Caesar. So maybe she's going to die. I don't want her to die. I just met her, and I already got a wig and everything. That's just not fair. <laughs> <laughs> Why does Joseph just call every woman a- <laughs> I don't care if you're a girl, I'll fight you. And then five minutes later, I don't hate girls. Okay, Joseph. Keep telling yourself that. <laughs> Could this be a romance? Is romance finally going to actually happen? And no, Irina and Jonathan don't count as romance to me. I want this house. I want to live here. This is my aesthetic. Just saying. Oh, it's so beautiful. <gasps> that entire island is my home. Yep, yep. <laughs> She's my new favorite. She's probably going to die. That All my favorites die. I've got such trust issues that I'm, I'm just assuming that all the characters are like up for death at this point. Because that's the only way I can make it through without dying inside. <laughs> Speedwagon! Arena! <laughs> They're all wet with oil. Love how you can just see her cascading in the window. She's like a female version of Baron almost. And Caesar did say that she was like a mother to him. <laughs> but I really, really want them all to live. 
I cannot stress that enough. <laughs> oh no! Smart. In all irony, he's putting his metaphorical mask on first and being like, I can't afford to worry about Jojo right now. I gotta worry about my own life. Something that Baron just couldn't do. Which makes me sad. I still have a feeling that she's going to be the one to die. Or maybe they'll all live and I'll be okay. But that's probably not the case. They have to make it up, right? 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 They have to, right? Like, there can't be more episodes if they don't make it up. <laughs> I love his anger issues so much. <laughs> You're just punching it. Like. <laughs> it is so adorable. Like, all three of these characters. I don't think there's a character I don't like in this particular episode. Well, that's not, that hasn't happened yet. Or has it? I don't know. So far, I'm liking all these characters. I want them all to live long, happy lives. Although, I do like it when Jojo gets angry. It's really cute. Oh! <laughs> so he's going to think of ways to punish her as inspiration to climb the tower. makes sense. Makes perfect sense. Why wouldn't it make sense? The fact that he likes her slightly. <laughs> I'm, I'm smelling romance, but I, I can't get my hopes up. I can't do it. This, like that looks so cool. I didn't see the third, um, hole, but the two holes in the diamond in the middle that looked like a face and it looked so aesthetically pleasing. And I love how they animated the oil. It does look like oil paint. Like, wow. Just admiring the animation. It's my first day! <laughs> He doesn't like it, but they're in his head. <laughs> Your beauty only deepens my rage. So she's gonna become his muse. That's my prediction. She's gonna become his muse, and then he's gonna be able to somehow angrily climb just because he's like, oh hate that I love you kind of attitude. <laughs> this is perfect. <laughs> How did they survive 28 hours without food or water? Like, I know Hammond's like a power, but can they eat it? Aw, and that's cute. Caesar's like, I shouldn't be worrying about him, but he, he needs my help because like, it's not getting anywhere so far. It's it's giving me such anxiety thinking that someone might die. Episode, and I have no idea who it would be. I don't think it would be Joseph because he's like the main character of the arc. It might be Caesar. If he sacrifices himself to... If he takes off his metaphorical mask to help Joseph and then dies in the process, I will be so upset. But if that sparks a romance between him and Lisa Lisa, then I'm okay with it. 
but I'll still be quite sad that Caesar is dying. Maybe. Maybe nobody will die. Who knows? I don't know. Caesar! <laughs> so why is it that whenever Jojo says Caesar's name, he's able to just, like, reach up a little bit more? He's just gonna say, say my name. That's the motivation I need. Meanwhile, Jojo's motivation is just Lisa's eyes. <laughs> I love how he's still focused on how he's gonna torment her when he gets out. Like, that's his objective, is to get out just so he can torture his master. <laughs> Pillar as mean as that woman? Well, yeah, it's her house, dude. It's a trap! It's a trap! <laughs> he's like, you mad at me, Caesar? Like, what's wrong? Of course he's mad at you. No, no, no. I have a feeling that Caesar's gonna try to go through it, and he's not gonna make it. Is this the sacrifices that already happened? I'm not emotionally ready for this. <laughs> I don't want to push play, but I have to. <laughs> He's so smart. He did it! Caesar made it. Caesar made it. But Jojo might not. But will Caesar go back for him and die in the process? <laughs> Probably not, but chances are somebody's gonna sacrifice themselves for you. Another nine hours? This is not impossible. Like, the anime logic is way too flawed in this scene, in my opinion. But, other than- it's still quite a good scene, it's really getting me worked up. <gasps> Caesar! 61 hours! No. Aww. I don't know why his eyes turn from green to yellow, but it's it's really cute that Caesar's like, yo, you gotta protect Jojo. And if she says no, chances are he'll run after him and get killed. He's going for it. <laughs> it's like he's skateboarding through, like, <laughs> for swimming. He's like swimming through it, like just avoiding it. He's like, I'm just not going to. Engage, I'm just going to avoid all this and just slide through like nothing happened. Maybe they're all going to live. Maybe it's going to be okay. No! 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 Yes. 
俺はさっき怒ってたんじゃねえぜ先生彼を救うためにこのシーザーが手を貸すことをお許しくださいそれはいいけどシーザーあなたスルッテッツお願いだ手を離さないでくれシーザーペサの姉ちゃんよ What is he going to do to her? They all lived. I'm so happy. I was so, I was so scared, but they all lived. I'm so happy. Only like a minute left. Let's go. He's so much bigger than her. What? Vindictive, that is a good word, Caesar. That is a great word to describe Joseph. How does he go from like threatening to strip her naked one minute to begging her to continue his training the next minute? I smell romance, but I can't smell too hard or else it will just become a nosebleed. Who dat? <laughs> this girl's got like so many like assistance and stuff. She's so boss. <laughs> Lovely montage. Seven days until the poison is released to be continued. Final thoughts. I don't know if it's because I haven't watched the show in a few weeks or not, but I was so passionate about this episode. The past few felt a little bit like filler episodes, but this one was full of suspense the entire time, and it's just getting better, and I'm loving Lisa Lisa. I hope she stays. I don't know if she's the redhead in the intro because they tend to change the hair colors in the animation a lot, which is a little bit confusing, but she looks like she could be if she wanted to be. Who knows? I'm glad no one died, but who knows? Next episode, somebody might. Yeah, I found this episode to be funny and exciting. I tend to not like action scenes because they're way too serious all the time and like there's nothing to laugh about unless it's like really morbid but they cracked a few good jokes in there and it was quite it was really entertaining to watch i wish i didn't have to wait another week before watching episode 17 but sadly i do i'm gonna miss joseph and caesar and lisa lisa and even those two guys that showed up and made jello at the end. Like, just when I thought it couldn't get any better, there were just like some jello in your face. Here you go. <laughs> oh, God. Thank you so much for watching me. And if you liked it, please like and subscribe and comment. Share all the basic YouTube crap. Bye bye. <laughs> Thank you.